We all want our Mazak machines to last longer. One way to do that is by adhering to a preventative maintenance schedule. In today's Mazak Minute, I'll explain what you need to know and what steps should be taken to ensure your Mazak is well maintained. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to the Mazak Minute. I'm Mike Zilich, part of the HEH technical team. Today's topic is gonna to be maintenance check. We've had a few requests uh, from previous episodes of people asking us to do an episode on maintenance check. So let's get started. What you're gonna see on a, we're gonna use a smooth VCEZ, the machine that's uh, right behind me. Um, there's gonna be a CD from the factory that has all the manuals on it. Um, what you need to do is locate it, and a lot of times it's located inside the electrical cabinet. Very important that before you go into the electrical cabinet, you turn off the machine at the machine control and at the machine breaker. Um, notice on the right side there, I'm showing you again, it's a, I can't stress it enough, turn off all the power to the machine and you're seeing the main breaker on the side of the machine and you're seeing it in the off position. What we're looking for, sometimes it's taped inside the electrical door or you're gonna see over on the left top picture there, you're gonna see a little uh, uh, shelf there with uh, some of the manuals. Um, you're gonna see that I'm looking for the uh, that blackish Mazak uh, manual, and when you open it up, you're gonna see a CD in there. When you go ahead and open up the manual, what you're gonna see is there is going to be a, it's got all the manuals here, and coming down on the left side, you're gonna see maintenance manual. When you open it up, if you go a few pages in, there's gonna be a table of contents. Uh, in the table of contents, you're gonna see that there's going to be a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly maintenance. I also am gonna point out right now on this screen, there is, if you look at uh, uh, chapter uh, subsection 4-2, uh, table of inspection and maintenance items. That brings up this screen right here. And what you're gonna notice is that it's gonna have topics on the left side in the blue square box. And across the top in the purple, you're gonna see the intervals of when that uh, service needs to be taken care of. And a description related to that type of operation is gonna be over on the right side where it says refer to, and that's gonna be the subsections and the one that we're going to be looking at is going to be, uh, I think it's 433. If I come down below here, the uh, customer was asking about uh, checking the spindle lubrication oil level. This one, they want you to check it daily, and it's just a visual check, but they want you to, keep a, to take a look at it. At the machine control on the EZ control, how do I get to the maintenance screen? First off, you're gonna hit the far or furthest left most uh, soft key until I get to the soft key that says diagnose. Um, I think normally you're gonna have to press it twice. You're gonna see in the middle picture, diagnose, and from diagnose, you're gonna hit maintenance in the middle of the soft keys. Um, the machine, when I, got, when I came down here on our floor, um, you're seeing that this is our periodic uh, maintenance, and you can see that I have magenta lines all the way across. Um, basically, my maintenance check warning has been coming up, so I need to correct it. We need to do the inspections, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reset the hours to make it back to normal. On the maintenance, what you're gonna see that uh, across the soft keys on the bottom, 
there are going to be six different types of screens. The periodic check, the daily check, weekly check, monthly check, 1500 hour check, and finally the 3000 hour check. The screens I have listed here, you're going to see the first one on the left is the periodic. And you can see that one has the hours just like the previous screen. And then the remainder of them will have a checkbox. So the one to the right of the screen is the daily check. Then we go to the monthly. Weekly is left, monthly is on the right. And then finally the 1500 hour and the 3000 hour. So let's go through an example. The customer that uh, requested one of the uh, uh, maintenance check uh, episodes, he was looking at the checking the spindle lubrication oil. So again, right now I got it highlighted in a red box in the uh, table of the inspection and maintenance items, noticing that it's a daily check. And it's just a visual check that they want you to go look at the tank for the oil level. If I look to the very right, you're seeing 4-3-3. You can do a control F on that uh, Adobe screen. And then if you wanted to, you can type in 4-3-3. And that's a quick way of searching through the manual. But uh, what I, you'll notice is that there is a uh, note in this check oil levels that the check the amount of the spindle lubrication oil level is only for the customers who have purchased a 15,000 RPM spindle. If you have the 12,000 RPM spindle, you won't have this oil uh, reservoir for the spindle. So if you are a customer that does have the 15,000 RPM spindle, what you'll notice on the right side of the machine towards the back, you're gonna see that's where the uh, grease accordion is for the ways. But to the left of that is going to be the uh, reservoir for the uh, oil for the spindle. Keep an eye on that level. And what I tried to do is highlight the box here a little bit, but also you're gonna notice that there's a little pump on that which takes the oil to the machine. Now that we looked at that one item, now let's go through how do I clear out or reset the check values of the dates. So if you go to the periodic check, you're seeing on the screen that there is a number one is to the left of the item there. That is gonna be the number of hours that will, uh, that it takes before the maintenance warning will uh, appear on the screen. Number two, the uh, white box to the right is gonna be the actual hours since the last check. And then number three, the previous check, that's just giving you the date of when it was last checked. So normally you shouldn't change the item or the hours on the left side, we're gonna be going for the hours on the right side or that number two balloon. Cursor over to that uh, item and what you will do is you'll hit zero input and what that will do is that will uh, update the previous check date and it, the magenta line going across will go back to normal. The other checks, the daily, weekly, monthly, what you're gonna have here is there's gonna be a list of operations. And towards the bottom of there, you're seeing that they want you to say, check all cancel. And that will turn off all the check marks. And that just gives you a way of going through each item and tapping the screen so you know that you took care of that operation. Once you have uh, completed all the check boxes. Then you're gonna go up to the very top right of the screen and you're gonna see that there is the previous check date right there. And then there is a, uh, a box called checked. Press that checked box 
and that will reset the time or the dates and you're good to go for that operation. Thanks for watching. If you would, please leave a comment down below for suggestions on future episodes of the Mazak Minute. Thanks.